Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Catalog Management. During this demo, we are going to show you how the vCloud Automation Center Tenant Administrator configures the service catalog. First, we are going to look at the vCloud Automation Center self-service catalog and define the terminology that will be used to describe the various components. Then we will look at how to organize the catalog in order to make it easier to navigate by aggregating like catalog items into service categories. Let's start by looking at some of the service catalog components. Service categories are administrator-defined groupings that can be used to subset the catalog into aggregations of like services. Catalog items are the unique application, infrastructure, or other IT services accessible in the catalog which service categories and catalog items each user sees in their catalog is determined by service entitlements, but we'll discuss those in another video. Now that we understand a bit of the catalog terminology, let's look at how IT services are published and organized in the catalog. Service architects can define new services and publish them as catalog items. vCloud Automation Center has three service authoring engines that were optimized for designing infrastructure, applications, or custom IT services. How to author a service was covered in previous videos. Refer to them if necessary. A catalog item is defined in a blueprint or deployment profile, which provides a complete specification of the resource to be provisioned, the process to be used, the options available to the requester, and what day two actions are possible. A service design can then be saved in a draft state and published as a catalog item when it is finished. Once the service has been published, it is now available to be placed within a catalog. Once the catalog items have been published, it is now up to the tenant admin or the business group manager to organize the catalog. The business group manager manages the catalog for just their group, and the tenant admin can manage the catalog for multiple business groups. The first step in catalog management is to create the service categories that will act as grouping folders to subset the different type of catalog items in the catalog. Let's look at how the service categories are configured. In order to perform this task, I'm logged in as the tenant administrator for the Nefasoft tenant. On the administrators tab, I select the catalog management menu option. Catalog management has four functions. In this video, we are only covering the first two managing service categories and catalog items. Clicking on services lists all the service categories that have already been configured. Clicking on the green plus sign allows the administrator to configure new service categories. Administrators can also edit existing categories. Let's edit one of our categories to help you better understand what attributes describe it. Each service category has a name, description, and an icon that can be used to differentiate that category as well as other descriptive information. You will need a few categories to start, but you can always change the service categories or add additional categories as needed. After configuring the service categories, we will now associate the relationships between each service category and the catalog items that reside in that category. Note each catalog item can only be in one service category. To associate catalog items with service categories, under the Catalog Management Commands, click the Catalog Items menu option. The Catalog Items display contains a list of the published blueprints. Each catalog item can be active or inactive. It can also be assigned to a service category or unassigned. Let's edit the Inventory Manager catalog item to change its status to active and the category assignment from Applications to Infrastructure. Every catalog item has a name, description, and an icon. The status can be changed between active and inactive in order to enable or disable a service. Let's activate the service so it will be available in the catalog. Each catalog item can be associated with a specific service category. We will change the category from Applications to Infrastructure. Next we will click Update to make these changes permanent. As you can see, both the status and the service catalog association have been changed. You have now successfully organized your vCloud Automation Center catalog. The next step is to entitle users to these services and catalog items. That subject will be covered in our next video. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. And to learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.